Let us look at Infrastructure as a Service as one of the service models in cloud computing. Infrastructure as a Service mainly deals with the resource sharing and infrastructure layers. Infrastructure as a Service is a cloud computing model where cloud providers make computing resources available to clients, usually in the form of instances or virtual machines. In Infrastructure as a Service, a cloud provider rents out computing resources to clients. Typically, this is done by a piece of software called a hypervisor, which allows multiple instances of operating systems to run simultaneously on a single machine. The cloud provider provisions instances for clients and gives them control to choose their own operating system and install their own software. In this manner, multiple clients can share the same physical hardware and the sharing is controlled by the hypervisor. Thus, in Infrastructure as a Service, the cloud provider makes computing resources available through instances or VMs. The client usually has some choice over the type and number of instances required, as well as the operating system. Each VM or virtual machine comes with an associated CPU, memory, disk, and network bandwidth. The client can then remotely log on to the instance and has full access to install software and copy data, etc. In this model, the cloud provider manages the resources and it's the client's responsibility to install and maintain the software and manage scale. However, cloud providers may make additional resources available such as VM image libraries, storage options, firewalls, load balancers, etc. Let's look at a simple example of an IaaS cloud provider, such as Amazon Web Services. Amazon Web Services makes instances available for rent through Amazon EC2. A client can connect to Amazon EC2 and make a request for instances. Amazon will then prepare an instance based on the client specification and make it available for the client. The client can then proceed to install the applications that they need. Amazon does this for thousands of clients all around the world. At the end of the month, Amazon bills each customer for the amount of resources that they have rented out and the customer pays Amazon based on the number of hours and the number of instances that they've used. 